Welcome to the Dominican Republic. Every year, humpback whales gather in these waters to find a mate and begin raising their young. As part of National Geographic's Ocean Explorers series, the OceanX team of specialists tested whether whales rely on underwater structures shaped like bowls to amplify their sounds and improve their chances of attracting mates. We planted specialized microphones using our submersible's robotic arm and used our hydrophone to test the hypothesis. So this is the actual part. All of the work is being done by this little bit here. That's the hydrophone. This is going to be listening to that sound reverberating off the amphitheater. Next, we processed the acoustic data and measured the decibel levels. Look at the added intensity there. So that's a huge amount of extra sound energy in the system. So it really is amplifying. So now we know the benefit is that they could get that sound to be louder and behind them and reach more whales. Their world depends on them being able to hear and speak over vast distances. And that's kind of the problem when you bring in these human-made sounds, is it shortens the distance that their vocalizations can travel. But in some places, they've actually adapted where they have dropped their frequencies so that they can actually start to hear each other again. These results show us how humpback whales rely on underwater terrain to ensure that their sounds are loud enough to reach one another. The new insights can help us find ways to limit the disruption of man-made noises and ensure the whale's long-term survival.